little fox. The election question. Election day was coming up everywhere, even at my school. But I had a problem. My two best friends were running for school president. I could only vote for one of them. Abby is really smart. She's my next door neighbor. She moved here a couple years ago. Matt is really popular. I've known him since kindergarten. We play on the same baseball team. I help them make campaign posters to hang in the school hallways. Matt and Abby both said, Vote for me! But how could I choose between my best friends? Ugh! I wish there was no election. Why do we have to vote? I asked Mrs. Hardy during social studies. Voting is a way for people to show their opinions, she explained. Then decisions can be made based on the majority. That didn't solve my problem. I decided to ask my sister about voting. Becca turned 18 this year. She can vote in a real election for the first time. I can't wait to vote, she said. Voting is a privilege. Who are you voting for? I asked. I'm not telling you. She stuck her tongue out at me. Voting is private. That way, people can feel free when they vote. Downstairs, Mom and Dad were stuffing envelopes. They volunteer for Mayor Morgan's campaign. Even our front lawn is filled with campaign signs. Mom and Dad always say that elections are important. We pay taxes to the government, said Mom. So we should choose good leaders. How do you know who to vote for? I asked. Well, said Dad, you have to think hard and know the facts. Voting isn't just marking a ballot, added Mom. It's a serious responsibility. I vote for people who will make the world better for us. My parents didn't solve my problem. But they had good advice. <laughs> I thought really hard about who to vote for. Abby wanted new classroom computers. Matt wanted to fix the baseball field. They both had good ideas. It wasn't easy, but finally I made a decision. This morning at school, we voted. But I'm not saying who I voted for. Like Becca said, voting is private. The principal will announce the winner tomorrow. I know that he, or she, will be a great school president. I'm glad I answered my election question. But now, I have a new problem. How will I cheer up the friend who doesn't win? Oh no!